Hey everybody, welcome back to C-Sharp Tutorials for Beginners. This is number three where we're going to do comments and also regions. This video should be pretty short and sweet, so let's get going. Comments can be used for purposes as advanced as generation of documentation for your code. But for this tutorial, we're going to stick to the basic uses of both kinds of comments and regions. So the first kind of comment is a single line comment. So if we enter down, we can do forward slash, forward slash, and this starts a single line comment. Now, usually a single line comment is just to put a note somewhere about something. Like, say, this prints, hello world. Now, of course, that wouldn't be a very good comment. It's just taking up space because obviously you can see this prints, hello world. Single line comments can be added on their own lines. It, they can be added at the end of an existing line. But if you put it before a line of code, it's going to comment out your code. So it can also be used to do just that. Say you don't want to wait for the console to read a line, comment it out. You don't want it to print hello world, comment that out too. So those are the two main uses for single line comments. Multi-line comments are a bit more versatile. They start the same way with a forward slash, but then you do an asterisk. Then to close it, you do another asterisk forward slash. Now anything in here is the comment. But the thing is, is it can also be on multiple lines. So you can space down, and this is also part of the comment. Now these are usually used to kind of give a bigger explanation. Like say, this is my main method. It is my program entry point. It prints hello world and waits for the user to press enter. So it gives you a, a better explanation of what something does. Or some people even use it at the beginning to say, hey, I created this program, right? Like creator, empa, and maybe a date, things like that. But another good use for this is that you can actually use these within lines of code. So say you had a number here that was maybe like some crazy number you found in a textbook and it's Campa's number. Well, nobody knows what that number is. So maybe you put a comment here that says this is Campa's number. It does X, Y, Z. That way, when people see the number, they can immediately know what it does. Now, you can even break up right in the middle of a line of code. You could put a comment here if you wanted to. Now, for readability, that's probably not a good idea, but a lot of times you may have a lot of things where you say dot do something and then dot do something else. And if that's the case, you may want to say this does something, and then this does something else here. Right, so these comments are a lot more versatile, but the single line comments are a lot cleaner if you just have a short thing to say. Multi-line comments can also be very useful for commenting out entire chunks of code. So. What we did before with two single line comments, we can do with one multi-line. And of course that stretches as far as your start and end stretch. So it's really good for debugging and, and testing, but keep in mind that it's not good practice to leave a bunch of code commented out because when you come back to it or whoever else is in your code base may not know why it's there at all or why it's commented out. Okay, last up we have regions. Now regions aren't really comments, but they can be used to organize your code, so I figured I would go over them with comments. So to start a region, you do a pound sign or hashtag, region, space, and then your region name, and your region name can have spaces. So you could say name, method. Now where you want your region to end, put another hash, and say end region, all one word. Now what that does is it tells Visual Studio to make this an entire collapsible item. So you can click this box and it will collapse your main method. You can hover it and see your code. And you can hide things that you don't want to see at the time. 
So if you have a lot of code, a lot of components in the same class, you can create these regions to kind of tidy things up and only see what you want to see. Next up, we have variables and data types. So we actually get to write some code. Thank you for watching, everybody. I do appreciate you. Hopefully this is helpful. And until next time, take care.